Hi everyone, Jeremy Avery with the Ecosystem App Engineering team here to give you a look at the service preview release of our Red Hat OpenShift database access product. In my previous video, I showed how an IT operations person can use the administrator role on the OpenShift cluster to initialize database as a service provider accounts. In this video, I'll show how an application developer can make use of those provider accounts to identify and connect with third-party database instances. Let's get started. I am currently logged in as a developer under the project MongoDB Quarkus app. I've begun by deploying an application called Fruit Shop in the project, visually represented here by deployment in the topology view of the OpenShift developer console. The Fruit Shop application uses the Quarkus Java framework to create and modify a MongoDB collection called Fruit. If you'd like to take a look, we've included a GitHub URL in the video description below. Let's go ahead and add a new service from the developer catalog. Here we find our new entry, Connect a Database, under which you can find a tile for each of the database providers registered in our OpenShift cluster. We'll go ahead and select MongoDB Atlas, as we know it has the collection we wish to connect with, and hit Connect. On this screen, we see each of the instances that were discovered through the provider accounts we created as a cluster administrator in the previous video. We select the DBAS cluster one instance, which has our fruit list, and hit Connect. Now, getting back to the topology view, we can see that the DBAS connection representation has been created next to the Fruit Shop application. Our next step in connecting our app with our external database instance is to drag an arrow from the Fruit Shop application over to the MongoDB instance representation. In doing so, we're notifying one of our dependency operators, the service binding operator, that we'd like to provide connection details about our target database instance to any pods running our Fruit Shop app. The service binding operator then takes care of looking up the related connection information from resources that we've created and providing it to our application pods in a secure manner. With values supplied to our pods, the Quarkus framework, which we've used as a basis for our app, will pull in those values and initiate a connected client on pod restart without any user configuration via code. Now that everything is wired up, let's use the route for our application to check and ensure that our database functionality is working correctly. Here we see a list of fruits successfully from the remote instance. And lastly, let's add a new fruit entry to test write functionality as well. There we go. In addition to connecting pre-existent instances, our service preview release supports a free trial instance self-service feature. Using this functionality, a developer can request that a free trial instance be provisioned on the provider's cloud infrastructure using one of the provider accounts already made available by an administrator. Let's see this in action. Back over in topology view, we'll click add on the navigation menu and then click on the connected database tile again. We'll again select the database provider we intended to target and hit connect. Next, we select the specific provider account resource from the dropdown, which we wish to own the instance and click the create database instance button. Following that, we provide an instance name and in the case of MongoDB, a project name as well and hit create. Now, back over in our administrator summary list view, we can see that our new instance is included in the list, adding to the collection of instances available for developers to work with. This concludes our demo of the service preview release for the database as a service product. I hope this helps show how you, as a developer, can use Red Hat OpenShift database access to simplify provisioning and accessing external database cloud services from your OpenShift clusters eliminating the need for hard coding credentials into your applications. Thanks for your time, and we invite you to give OpenShift database access a try at red.ht db access.